Good morning and welcome. We are proud to gather here today in this virtual format as part of our 107th commencement to recognize and honor the achievements of the August and December 2020 graduates. Graduates, you have accomplished great things under unprecedented circumstances. Your resilience and tenacity in the face of the pandemic has been inspiring to the entire Lewis community. With that and all your other contributions and accomplishments in mind, I have great confidence in the impact you will make in our society in the years to come. I now invite Brother Chuck Greger, Instructional Technology Specialist, to offer our invocation. Following the invocation, we will be welcomed by our board chair, Kathy Halloran, and then hear from Dr. David Livingston, Lewis University President. Let us pause to remember we are always in the holy presence of God. Lord God, thank you for our graduates and for teachers, family members, friends, and all who have been their companions along the road that has led them here today. May the mission values of knowledge, wisdom, fidelity, justice, and association continue to inspire our graduates to live lives marked by a desire to make a difference in our world and to find ways to lift up their sisters and brothers. Lord, we ask you to help us support one another as we face the effects of COVID-19, to comfort those who mourn, to pray for the safety of essential workers, to offer assistance to those in need, and to do what is necessary to keep others safe. Finally, Lord, help us remember your call to act justly to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with you throughout our lives. We make this prayer in your most holy name. Amen. As chair of the Board of Trustees and a very proud alum of Lewis University, I am pleased to celebrate this special occasion with all of you and to offer on behalf of the Board of Trustees their heartfelt congratulations as you graduate today. I'd also like to recognize and thank family members and friends who have given you support throughout your educational journey as well as throughout your life. Today you graduate from an outstanding university, one that's externally recognized for providing high quality values-based education, a university where a dedicated and highly esteemed faculty, staff, and administration have been deeply committed to your learning and development. And I also want to take the opportunity to extend my appreciation to faculty for your extraordinary efforts over the last several months as you adapted your teaching skills to meet the needs of all Lewis students. Graduates, you leave Lewis University today having already accomplished significant educational achievements, but at the same time are ready to pursue a lifetime of continued learning. Your degree has prepared you to be a leader in today's complex and rapidly changing work environment. Perhaps even more importantly, we members of the board trust that your experience at Lewis has strengthened your values and clarified your ethics, and that your degree will help you to excel not only professionally, but personally. As leaders, you'll be making valuable contributions in your workplace, as well as the communities where you live and serve. As you graduate today, I can uh, encourage you to continue to stay in touch with your classmates who you have shared this learning experience with, as well as the faculty members who have not only been your teachers and mentors, 
but have become your friends. The Board of Trustees is confident that you will succeed in life and make a difference in the world so much in need of your talent and contribution. So again, congratulations on this significant accomplishment. Please stay safe and healthy. Merry Christmas, and I wish everyone a prosperous and blessed new year. Graduates, parents, friends, and loved ones, welcome. Congratulations to each of you, our graduates, on this wonderful day. It has been a very challenging journey, but you've made it. Well done. I also want to thank all those who have supported you over the years, your partners, your children, your parents, your grandparents. Thank you for being with our graduates throughout their journey to this Lewis degree. Graduates, you have fulfilled your dream today. By accomplishing this dream, you have created the possibility for other dreams to be fulfilled. This is so often the way of life. Our dreams build on each other and depend on each other. When we achieve one of our dreams, a whole new set of possibilities opens up before us. You are now prepared for life after Lewis. You've taken the next step by completing your Lewis degree. Now you walk out these doors and you walk into a world that is in such desperate need of your talents and your commitment and your vision. We are in the midst of a pandemic which has left us all exhausted. I genuinely believe that you are the people who will lead us into a much different and much better future. You are a class of graduates that has been tested in ways that were unimaginable just 12 months ago. Your resilience in the face of all that the COVID pandemic has offered will allow you to meet the new challenges which will come tomorrow and next week and next year with a conviction that you can overcome anything. As tired as I am, and I know as tired as you are, I come to this commencement ceremony with such a sense of joy and confidence and hope my hope lies in you. And I am confident that you will make this world into a better place because of your passion, because of your commitment, and because of your vision of what is possible. I cannot wait to see what you accomplish over the next 30 or 40 years. We are on the cusp of so many amazing possibilities as a global community. And you will be part of making these possibilities into realities. Computers were the size of entire classrooms when I graduated from college, and their capacity was insignificant compared to what your cell phone has in it today. And when I graduated 35 years ago, it would have been unthinkable for us to develop a COVID-19 vaccine in less than a year. This pandemic has taught us that we are a global community, all tied together in our vulnerability and in our hope. We have also been taught what amazing things are possible if we work together and imagine a new world. I look forward to living in the world that you create. Imagine a world you want to live in and work together to create it. Congratulations again. Come back to visit us often. Share with us your accomplishments. Use your gifts and talents to transform the world. God bless you and those you love. We continue our ceremony with a LaSallian student commencement address, which will be delivered by Taylor Lene Bolte, a nursing major. Picture this. A deadly virus has swept across the world, forcing every country to lock down. Stores and restaurants are boarded up. McDonald's no longer serves all day breakfast. Classes function solely online. The only way to date is through a Zoom meeting. Toilet paper is nowhere to be found. And the only thing the nation can agree upon is that Carol Baskin killed her husband. 
No need to picture it. We are living in it. It's called 2020. I would like to extend a warm virtual welcome to the Board of Trustees, Dr. Livingston, faculty, honored guests, and all my fellow graduates. In light of this unprecedented time, we have an opportunity to celebrate this monumental milestone of graduation. As Aristotle once said, it is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. 2020, what a year of vast and overwhelming darkness. Yet I invite everyone watching to focus on that light with me and extend the light to the others around you. Before I sat down to write this speech, I thought to myself, what does it truly mean to be LaSallian? I would like to begin by reflecting upon my personal experiences here at Lewis. In the summer of 2016, I was incredibly excited to begin my new journey as a college student. I had committed to play my favorite sport of softball and was studying nursing in one of the most recognized schools in the state. However, the summer before I was to start at Lewis, I discovered I would need a second ACL repair, entailing not only double knee surgery, but the reality of having to miss most of my freshman season at Lewis. The fact that I was on the team but unable to play made me feel isolated, especially freshman year when it was so crucial to prove that I deserved to be playing at the collegiate level. In addition to recovering from knee surgery my freshman year, I went through an emotional breakup experienced heavily the typical homesickness of freshman year, and lacked friends initially at Lewis. I felt very alone and disappointed in the start of my college experience as I sat frustrated in my own little bubble. This sadness led me to search for a purpose outside of myself and the life I had known for so many years. I wanted to explore other interests that I had in my life now that softball was no longer number one. This search led me to ministry. I was invited to Athlete Bible Study, a small group that had just started to intertwine faith life with athletics. I continued to make connections with people involved with ministry and started attending events such as an all-campus lock-in, local community service opportunities, and even a week-long service trip in Tennessee. I developed genuine relationships with amazing people with hearts, from service, hearts for service and learned from various mentors along the way. Through these opportunities, I found a new sense of community and strengthened my relationship with God, even serving as a peer minister to support residents that had gone through the same struggles that I had. Ministry wasn't the only place I experienced community, acceptance, and love here at Lewis. If your experience is anything like mine, you've always had someone in your corner. As a nursing student, I wasn't just a number. My professors knew me by name and supported me both inside and outside of the classroom. I was able to study alongside a group of amazing peers who are now dedicating their lives to serving people in their most vulnerable states and in the midst of a global pandemic. As an athlete, I experienced the bond and support between teams here at Lewis and experienced the power of teamwork in just about any situation in life. Because I was tremendously supported by the communities I was involved with, I gained a newfound sense of confidence. This confidence took a quiet girl that hated the idea of public speaking to a leadership role as an RA, leader of athlete Bible study, and a chair member of Student Nurses Association. That same growth and confidence is what I know I can transfer now into my new career as a nurse. Through these encounters at Lewis, God shaped me to be a person that can now give back and help others to grow just as I had. So while my first semester at Lewis did not go as planned, I can honestly say that Lewis was exactly the place I needed to be to shape my character into what it is today. So for me, being LaSallian means building a community that fosters individual and collective growth. It's loving God and subsequently loving others. To be LaSallian is to be the hands and feet of Christ, our light, in a broken and dark world. This is exactly what Lewis University does every day. While my experiences highlight the beauty of Lewis, I know others have had similar experiences and discoveries. Therefore, I asked three fellow graduates what their biggest takeaway from Lewis was. Gabe Jones learned to keep faith and enjoy every second of life you get. Patty Giovanetti reflected that Lewis helped her to discover the why behind her choice of becoming a nurse by using her God-given gifts to serve others. 
Caroline Stefanon said that Lewis has provided her with an environment to develop inner confidence as a student athlete and has showed her what a group of unified women can achieve. So this virtual graduation does not involve walking across the stage and grabbing that diploma. It doesn't involve sitting shoulder to shoulder all dressed up alongside our peers. It doesn't involve taking pictures with friends and families or throwing our caps into the air at the announcement of the class of 2020. But graduation means so much more than that. It's the acknowledgement of four plus years of hard work, sacrifice, and sleepless nights. It's a recognition of all the bonds we've made with friends, faculty, and mentors along the way. It's a celebration of the end of one chapter and the start of another. And in all these things, we applaud intelligence, bravery, resilience, and ultimately light. Matthew 5, 14 through 16 reminds us that you are the light of the world. Let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So to the class of 2020, I extend an invitation to look around. What have we learned? What can we be grateful for? How can we help those in need in this current state of darkness and unknowns? And most importantly, in LaSallian fashion, how can we bring light to the people around us? Thank you, Ms. Bolte, for your inspiring words. I now invite the deans to present the candidates from their respective colleges. President Livingston and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Aviation, Science and Technology, and as Dean of the College, I certify that the following candidates have successfully completed the requirements for the degrees to be conferred upon them. I request, therefore, that you bestow upon them these degrees with all the rights and privileges thereof. For the College of Aviation, Science, and Technology, for the degree Bachelor of Arts, Helen A. O. Papula Samuel, James Batiste, Sheila Brenna Lisiak, Amanda S. Porter, for the degree Bachelor of Science, Jayton Aljdini, James Warren Archie, Thomas Robert Buell with high honors, Tessa Jane Check, Carly Nicole Cummins with high honors, Gina Rose Dubin, Anthony Garza, Kevin Cott, David Mendez, Odbayar Naranbold, Helen A. O. Papula Samuel, Andrea Rabadon, Brett Thomas Scott with honors, Brock Cerna, Joshua Byron Simmons, Michelle Solis, Matthew T. Spangler, Jacob Andrew Stipa, Sharon Vora, Alex Wish, Donovan James Yarlow, Sebastian C. Zajac, Zachary J. Zalou, Fijo Abraham, Arwa Afreen, Nusra Ahmed, Colin Samuel Aldridge, Ferris Fahad Al Subayi, Adrian Ang, Krilos Ashraf Antun, Evelina Balik with honors. Robert P. Barr with highest honors. Cranthal Reddy Adam. Reese Parag Baev. Andre Graham Brockman II with honors. Sabrina Irene Burian. Brandon Ray Bustos. Hernan Virgilio Calle. Sahil Ramashai Chowdhury, Hanson Livingston Coleman, Kaylee Rebecca Cosino, Danielle Pasquale Di Chiara, Jacob DeGraff with high honors, Mark Thomas 
Digiola, Ayayushi Doshi, Bailey Dato, William R. Duffy, Colton L. Edling, Malene Gandhi, Shelby Nicole Gersten, with honors, Robert Spencer Getchell, with highest honors, Hannah Hussein, with high honors, Andrew Robert Gibson, Bianca Guzman, Syed Muhammad Hassan, Connor J. Halbenreiser, William Joseph Heideman, Kara Marie Hussman, Chase William Kieran, Gregory Robert James III, Amna Kazmi, Zane A. Khan, with honors, Muhammad Musa Katak, with honors, Egha Kizar, Stephen Taiwan Kim, Thomas Comperdo, with honors, Oris Kovalev, with highest honors, Joseph Daniel Kusera, Sheila Brenna Lisiak, Sarah Marie, Jake Christopher Mansko, with high honors, Jaffer Mansour, Justin M. Martin, with high honors, Dennis Gerard McCarthy, Mantis Martinez Milauskas, with honors, Tyler Joseph Mitchum, Jonathan Jason Nelson, Xander Nguyen, Coyote E. Ojinjumi, Robert Charles Oliver Jr., Neil H. Patel, with high honors, Rudra Patel, Rupin Kamishkumar Patel, David Alex Pinedo, Quinton M. Porter, Joseph Lawrence Powell, with honors, Robert J. Privet, Rita Razudian, Robert Christopher Reed, Thomas Paul Reedy, James Render IV, Stephen Tyler Reynolds, Charles Edward Rogers III, with honors, Taylor Rowhead, with honors, Nicholas Joseph Ruff, Cesar Irad Mendoza Saldana, Layla Samad, Moshai D. Sampson, Nicholas John Schlossling, Alec Peter Schopler, with high honors, Elijah Lane Smith, with high honors, Maria Martinez Solorzano, with highest honors, Richard Soria, Nathan Lee Stadler, Carolyn Jane Stefanen, Paola Valenciana, Jonathan Villa, with honors, Rafael Villalobos, Zebelin J. Freeman Walker, Edward J. Wiss, Jr., Miriam Amal Yousef, Drew James Zrubecki, Stephen D. Zico. Stephen is a Noyce Scholar. For the degree Associate of Science, Joshua Charles Bird, Donald Edward Malin III, Abdul Rahman Bedemi Nasiru, Owen Robert Schmid, Ryan Hunter Yarger. President Livingston and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Business and as the Dean of the College, I certify that the following candidates have successfully completed the requirements for the degrees to be conferred upon them. I request, therefore, that you bestow upon them these degrees with all the rights and privileges thereof. In the College of Business, for the degree Bachelor of Arts, Joffrey K. Brown, Samantha Sue Dixellis, with honors, Catherine Reedy Emig, Melissa Esparza, with honors, Carl Everett King, with honors, Thomas Madougal, with highest honors, Eddie C. McKay, with honors, 
Mary Elizabeth Paskus with honors, Rachel L. Pierce, Lindsay M. Rager, Cialito Joseph Saxe with honors, Nicola Calabrese with honors, Cecilia Garcia, Andrew B. Henry with highest honors, Joseph Robert Jurek with highest honors, Melissa A. Lepowski with honors, Ryan Anthony Nangoni with honors, Gabriella Elizabeth Sainz with honors, Justin William Shabilski, Eric Matthew Smith, Cody S. Watson. For the degree Bachelor of Science, Matthew Healy Anderson, Frank Bosak III with high honors, Jared Thomas Carreno with honors, Richard D. Ferreira with highest honors, Stephen Angel Godinez, Brandon James Morford, Justin Warren Pindlack with honors, Vincent J. Smithwick, Victoria E. Stokelski, Joshua M. Suarez, Adam R. Took, Gabriel Antonio Abin with honors, Lauren Rose Adams, Jose Luis Alvarez with high honors, Domingo Ray Archuleta with honors, Allison Samantha Balamante with honors, Danigella Bajik, Justin Barron with honors, Hector M. Basavesoto, Justin M. Bennett, Ariane Rebecca Pretenden, Ziba Faruque with high honors, Adrian Ismael Flores, Jeline Stephanie Gomez, Haley Nicole Griga with highest honors, Luis Alberto de Guadalupe Arrieta Guarín with highest honors, Katerzina Harmata, Rachel Michelle Heineck with honors, Nicole Fallon Jeffers with highest honors, Matthew J. Carlo, Christian Eduardo Kennedy, Cody K. Cusia with honors, Ashley K. Labuda with honors, David Lamb, Destiny Hope Langus, LaShawn D. Lau, Jorge Leon, Gemma N. Lobash with highest honors, Jonathan Thomas Logan, Jennifer Lopez Tayaya, Scott G. Maine with highest honors, John James Morano, Diego A. Marquez with high honors, Jennifer Marie Martinez, Riley Elizabeth Olmsted with honors, Ashana D. Patel, Samantha Peebles with high honors, Patrick John Rickman with honors, Enrique Salcido, Bradley John Schumacher, Adita Sicone with honors, Angelo Junior Simonelli, Penny A. Sewula with high honors, Natalia Slodika, Brianna Marie Soltis with highest honors, Andrew Edward Tarno with honors, Samantha L. Tizak, Luis P. Vasquez, Marcus Whiting, Samantha Lee Wizorek, Melody Wines, Samantha Sanchez Zamudio with honors. President Livingston and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Education and Social Sciences and as interim dean of the college, I certify that the following candidates have successfully completed the requirements for the degrees to be conferred upon them. I request, therefore, that you bestow upon them these degrees with all the rights and privileges thereof. For the College of Education and Social Sciences, the degree Bachelor of Arts, Steve Banuelos, Jenna Lee Calderon, Rachel M. Degner, Crystal M. Del Rio with highest honors, 
Gonzalo De Luna Jr. with highest honors. Sandra Lee Doherty with highest honors. Abby Lane Galusha with honors. Laura Rochelle Gavin. Paulina Jezorzik. Kayleen Moretta Kaiser with high honors. Cheyenne Lingo. Stephen D. Moreno. Michael Thomas Orlos. Katie M. Quinn with high honors. Jacob Cedillo. Rebecca Spencer. Jenna S. Strobush with high honors. Brittany Morgan Threat. Jose de Jesus Velasquez with honors. Jessica Joe Venice. Henry Ziatkowski with honors. Selena M. Alejos. Sajude K. Alzubi with honors. Anahi Andrade. Kayla Areza with honors. Laura Daniela Avalos. Haley Lynn Bonneman with high honors. Jacob Ryan Bolesky. Kyle Raymond Barnes with highest honors. Alexandra Barrett. Megan Bemis. Bradley Jacob Bendel, Mark Anthony Bennett, Catherine Ann Best, Samantha Lynn Bravo, Amy K. Bukowski with highest honors, Christian Burgos, Joanna Carranza, Samantha Anna Castillo, Melissa Cobos, Natasha L. Cornelios, Emma Jordan Cornfield, Vanessa Cortez, Olivia Ray Crowley with honors, Faith Ashley Zorniak with honors, Jasmine Davis, Sarah Jessica Dennis with honors, Justina Maria Dressler, Samantha Taylor Donovan with highest honors, Dania Iyad Iasa, Katrina Ann Esobido, Bonabi Faye Ortiz, Brittany L. Fassel, Bailey L. Ferris, Joseph C. Flandaka, Obed Yovan Galavis, Bonifacio Roman Garcia Jr., Jacob Robert Gould, Jessica Mary Guell with high honors, Jacqueline Rangel Gutierrez, Monica Elizabeth Gutierrez, Allison Heinzer with honors. Nadia Marie Mohamed Hernandez. Madeline Rose Huare with high honors. Brandy Nicole Holdway. Danielle Grace Howard with highest honors. Samantha Iozo. Gladys Matthew Jacob with high honors. Stephanie Jarvis with high honors. Carlos Jimenez. Gerardo Juarez. Sunia Khan, Cassandra Coma, Jennifer E. Kostecki, Hannah Meg Kraus, Annette Krupa with high honors, Wernika M. Kubinska with high honors, Angela Rosemarie Kujawa, Julia Kulman Lambour with high honors, Stacy A. Latimer with high honors. Curtis Wayne Lazzarini with honors. Flair Delis Diop Liquan with honors. Francesca Loduca with high honors. Natalie Lopez. Diana Mayela Lugo with honors. Michael Lee Lynch Jr. Michael Vernon Lyons. Kevin D. Mahalik. Connor Michael McGinnis. Kimberly Y. McGuire with highest honors. Jessica Medina. Brittany Fernanda Membrilla with highest honors. Miriam B. Mendoza. Jeffrey P. Miller with honors. Peyton Elizabeth Matera with highest honors. Jessica Lynn Mittock. Bartolo Gilbert Montesinos II. Jessica Ann Moreno with highest honors. Carly Muntz, Lisa A. Nobles, 
Nima R. Nuevo, Lauren Elizabeth Nugent with high honors, Donovan R. Oliver, Lulia Oprea, Nisha Palacio, Peyton R. Palin, Jonathan Perez, Tiffany Perez, Yadira Vanessa Perez, Seth Ryan Pope with highest honors, Joseph Lawrence Powell with honors, Amber Raylene Puglia, Sarah N. Katraki with highest honors, Marissa L. Rael, Antonio de Jesus Sanchez Ramirez with honors, Gabriela Marie Reyes, Jasmine Nicole Robertson, Desiree Rodriguez with high honors, Vasilios Dimitrios Rumbos, Jesus E. Saavedra, Daisy Brianna Sanchez, Deja A. Say, Hannah Sennett with honors, Gina E. Severin, Alexa Rose Sheehy with honors, Leah Marie Sawinski, Marissa Angelina Soria with high honors, Anthony J. Spiewak, Natalie Marie Stasinopoulos, James P. Stern, Yatunde T. Sapaniak with honors, Michael A. Talon III, Alexis Valeria Tamayo, Cisco Julian Valentin, Emily Grace Venezio, Raul Villalobos, Brandon J. Black with high honors, Eric Charles Von Borstel with honors, Franklin West, Lisa Marie Williams, Jacob Andrew Wilson, Kenneth Worth with high honors, Colin M. Yanarek, Amateur Rahim Yumna with highest honors, Stephen D. Zico, Stephen is a Noyce Scholar, Kimberly Ann Zuliger, for the degree Bachelor of Science, Mark Vernon Rivas. President Livingston and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Humanities, Fine Arts, and Communications, and as Dean of the College, I certify that the following candidates have successfully completed the requirements for the degrees to be conferred upon them. I request, therefore, that you bestow upon them these degrees with all the rights and privileges thereof in the College of Humanities, Fine Arts, and Communications for the degree Bachelor of Arts, Ashley Cesares, Patrick J. Sabulka, Nicholas David Johnson, Julius K. Kumi Darfour Sr., Natalie R. Alfano, Janin Z. Ali, Amy K. Bukowski with highest honors, Lucas Daniel Cabin with honors, Eduardo Dimas Jr., Rebecca Ann Dvorak, Alberto Gomez, Jack Riley Gordon, Jillian Nicole Guzzi with highest honors, Brianna R. Knutson, Joshua James Costeca, Curtis Wayne Lazzarini with honors, Olivia Jalde McGill with honors, Jacob H. Mesowitz, Lelan Aram Jaran Moore, Christopher Jorge Patino with high honors, Seth Ryan Pote with highest honors, Andrea Yvette Rodriguez with honors, Jacob Rodriguez, Ariana Tamayo with high honors, Brandon J. Vlack with high honors, Amatur Rahim Yumna with highest honors. Natalie L. Zagadlo for the degree Bachelor of Elected Studies. Janet R. Bailati with honors. Thomas Edwards Foboda. President Livingston and members of the Board of Trustees, 
on behalf of the faculty of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences and as Dean of the College, I certify that the following candidates have successfully completed the requirements for the degrees to be conferred upon them. I request, therefore, that you bestow upon them these degrees with all the rights and privileges thereof. For the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, the degree Bachelor of Arts, Hiyam Anis Atik, with honors, Abby Lane Galusha, with honors, Kristen Rose Henry, with high honors, Omama Osman, with honors, Sapphire Unique Robinson, with honors, Arturo G. Chavaria, with high honors, Sigrid S. De La Torre, with honors, Stephanie M. Germain, with honors, Crystal M. Hendricks, Melissa A. Lepowski, with honors, Michael Fair Manju Laban, with high honors, Amra Fatima Rahman, Donald Rukheim, with highest honors, Diana Ruiz, Shelby L. Steets. For the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Michelle Allison Candelario Alfaro, Laura C. Ariaga, Christopher Francis Bartell, Christine A. Baudino, Bradley Joseph Bacher, Myreed Delaney, Brendan George Gammonley, Lisa Marie Hall, Borusuka Vivian Kaka, Stephanie Ann Kane, Gina Marie Lisko, Elise Meyer, Abigail Graham Missimi, Anna M. Nowacek, Sarah E. Rakovich, Nora N. Alhir, Kathleen Michaela Allen, Adla Askar, Honeybee Soriano Bassig, Kimberly Marie Bellis, Julie Catherine Bingenheimer, Taylor Lene Boete with honors, Gina Gilda Capetta, Rafael Chavez Zamudio, Elena Antoinette Clark, Mariana F. Claspi, Kyle Scott Curtis, Tomika Cherie Lee Dover, Kayleanne Keo Dunn, Leah J. Frank, Megan Nicole Fugett, Mary Kate Gaffney, Erica Ann Gibson, Patricia R. Giovanetti, David J. Hansen, Kyle Martin Hardiman, Alexis M. Hartel, Danielle Christine Prososki, Tiffany Huang, Kelsey Jean Lachey, Kristen Alyssa Leano, Kayla Ann Laguero, Rachel J. Mendez, Holly Beth Joy Mueller, Megan B. O'Malley, Lisa A. Phelan, Jesse Noel Rhetoric, Olivia Christina Renzi, Jessica Retzlaff, Hannah Christine de Assis Sian, Grace A. Spindler, Shireen James Stanislaus, Stephanie Michelle Tarasenko, Charlene Alejandra Torres, Abriel Rose Winnie, Andrea Elizabeth Uranowski, Monica Angelica Zajak. For the degree Bachelor of Science, Chase C. Kilmer, Christopher Michael Esti, Summer Ray Garrett, Tatiana Adamaris Gonzalez with honors, Gabriel D. Jones, Benjamin Thomas Leend, Madeline R. McHugh. I now ask Dr. Livingston, President, to please come forward and certify the degrees that have just been presented. As president of Lewis University, in accordance with the authority invested in me by the Board of Trustees, it is my honor to award these degrees with their rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations to each of you. Now it's official. At this time, 
I am pleased to introduce David Kelnhofer from the classes of 2009 and 2010, a representative of the Lewis University Alumni Association, who will welcome our new graduates as alumni of the university. On behalf of the Lewis University alumni representatives and our 48,000 Lewis alumni, it is my distinct honor to welcome you as new members of the Alumni Association. The Lewis University Alumni Association is an all-volunteer organization that fosters long-lasting, mutually beneficial relationships between the university and its alumni. Our goal is to provide you with opportunities to remain in contact with your classmates, to network with other Lewis graduates, and to stay connected with your alma mater. I encourage each of you to be active participants in the Alumni Association and join us in supporting a premier association for all of our members. Any Lewis graduate will tell you that our educational experiences here resulted in much more than just a diploma. The Catholic and LaSallian values we learned, the guidance we received, the people we came to love and the lifelong learning we became so passionate about are still a part of us, woven into the tapestry of our lives even today. And many alumni, recognizing the value of their Lewis education, have encouraged their own children to be part of the Lewis experience as well. Many who are graduating today are the children or grandchildren of alumni. These families are dedicated to the values Lewis embodies and are truly handing down those ideals from one generation to the next. Thank you for continuing the Lewis tradition. For more than 60 years, Lewis University has recognized a student during each commencement weekend with the Father Aquinas Colgan Award. This prestigious award is presented to an outstanding senior who demonstrates extraordinary personal growth, transformation, and development during the undergraduate experience. Today, we are very pleased to present the December 2020 Father Aquinas Award to Stephen Tyler Reynolds, who graduates today with a Bachelor of Science degree in Aviation Administration. On behalf of the Lewis University Alumni Association, we offer our heartfelt congratulations to Stephen. Finally, as a Lewis University alumni representative, it is my honor to welcome you to the Lewis alumni family. Congratulations and blessings to you all. Thank you to everyone for your presence today. Graduates, please take time to thank friends, relatives, spouses, partners, parents, professors, staff members, and all the many others who have played a critical role in the work that you have accomplished at Lewis University. We are very proud of you and very hopeful for your future. Our closing prayer for the graduates will now be offered by our university chaplain, Father Dennis Lewandowski. As our graduates continue their journey, we would like to send them forward today with our blessings and prayers. I invite you to turn to page four in your program books or follow along on the screen and join me in reciting portions of the prayer for our graduates. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God, and so we pray. Gracious, loving Lord, thank you for our graduates, for inspiring them to apply their gifts and talents, to grow as individuals and as emerging professionals and as engaged members of society. Thank you for encouraging them to enrich the Lewis University community through their commitment to learning, through their prayers, their love and service. Bless them today with joy. Sustain them in the years to come with hope in you. Encourage them with your grace to continue learning and growing, to always seek the truth, to become wiser, more compassionate, to foster community in all places, to serve those in need, and to work for peace and justice. And finally, Lord, let them be assured that you are with them always. Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever.